science, our main aim is to be able to see the relationship that exists between various circles. That is whether they touch internally, externally, are concentric or orthogonal. In the previous lesson, we saw the various conditions for two circles to touch internally, externally being concentric or orthogonal. So we are going to, to do this, we are first going to bring out the center and the radius of these two circles. So for S1, S1 has equation this, and we saw that the center of C1 is simply given by the negative G on negative 2 and negative F on negative 2. So the center for C1 will simply be negative 6 or negative 2 and 6 on negative 2, which gives us, this is 3, negative 3. And we saw that the radius is equal to the square root of g squared plus f squared minus c, which is the square root of, this is 9 plus 9 minus our c, which is 17, which gives us r1 to be 1. For the second circle, we have s2 has center c2 to be negative 6 on negative 2 and negative 2 on negative 2. So the center c2 will be, this is 3 and 1, implying that our r2 is going to be the square root of, this is 9 plus 1 minus 1, implying that r2 is equal to 3. Now with this, if the two circles touch internally, then the distance from C1 to C2 must be equal to R1 minus R2, or R2 minus R1, depending on who is bigger. So the first thing we are going to do is to find the distance from C1 to C2. That's the distance between this point and this point. So C1, C2 is simply equal to the square root of applying the formula for the distance between two points. This is the first point and the second point. So we have 3 minus 3, which is 0 squared plus 1 minus this, which gives us 4 squared, implying that the, the distance C1, C2 is equal to 4. So for the first one, if S1 and S2 touch internally, our condition is that C1, C2 should be equal to R2, 2 minus R1. In this case, R2 is bigger than R1. So 4 should be equal to 3 minus 1, which is 2. But 4 is not equal to 2, so the two circles don't touch internally. If the two circles are concentric, then our C1, so concentric circles, C1 is equal to C2. But if you look at this, C1 is not equal to C2, so the two circles are not concentric. In the third case, if the two circles touch externally, so if S1 and S2 touch externally, then the distance C1, C2 should be equal to R1 plus R2. Looking at that, our distance C1, C2 gave us 4. 4 should be equal to R1, which is 1 plus 3. So we see that 4 is equal to 4, implying that the two circles touch externally. So for orthogonally, you can apply the same methodology of approach. So in this case, we have been able to say the relation that exists between these two circles. So as you can see, the two circles touch externally. And this is the procedure you follow in order to show that two circles verify any of the given conditions.